And what starts off as just a gentle grunt and groan will Excuse become moment. louder as this match progresses. And there's been a lot written about that in the press down here and has been for the last three or four years. Tough to eliminate that from the game at the moment. Well, but nothing against either Victoria Azarenka or Maria Sharapova personally or their games, but so many fans saying that is the final they don't want to see because they don't want to hear it. Well, I, I was just going to say the same thing. So many people come up to you and say, Fred, how do you get that stopped? You know, I, I can't stand watching it on TV and listening to all this all, all the time. And, uh, and it's, it's true. But I think the only way they can do it is from the grassroots up or put a time limit and say, OK, from this point on, we're going to put the machine on, and if it gets any higher than this, a warning, and then a point penalty. And I think it would stop it in about a week. the style of play if she's going to win this match Kim Kleisters has to play she has to dominate the points she has to set them up and it is just power that is going to beat Azarenka because Azarenka is pretty solid off the ground and she's not going to miss too many 40-15 40-15 well Azarenka has some Pretty powerful weapons of her own, and Kim's very aware of that and aware of what great form this young woman has been in. No, she's going to have to bring her best to the court today. She's Try and get off to a good start. Azarenka, a wonderful athlete too, just moves so well. James. That's the opening game to Kleisters, and listen to the applause from the Kleister-friendly crowd here. Christmas. Azarenka is a great story, though. She uh, now lives in Monte Carlo, and uh, her parents let her go to, out to uh, Arizona in the United States with the uh, NHL star Nikolai Kabibulin who, and his family. They were friends of the Azarenkas. And that's where she did a lot of her training. And, uh, you know, she was only a youngster when she went there, but now yes, yes, yes. is out on her own and lives in Monte Carlo. That's a deep shot there. And Azarenka getting a terrific angle. Gets back well. Good footwork. Drives through that. Yes, all of these players have their own path, the way they've mm -hmm. had to travel to get to the top. And so many of the Eastern European players have gone to other countries, ended up being sponsored by others. Pretty tough in Belarus to get to the top, and she has, knew she had to make a move. Monte Carlo would be nice now, though, Monte for a 22-year-old. It would be a little bit different, different to Belarus. Max Murney is on the men's tour. He's a doubles man and the beast, they call him. He's from Belarus. So over the last couple of years, tennis has become very popular over there with those two athletes making their mark on the world stage. Beautifully executed here, disguise on that drop shot from Kleisters. I think we might see a bit of that today with her just trying to break up the rhythm of Azarenka. She'll have to use all of the tricks in her book. So Azarenka holds. It's one all.
One of the strengths of Azarank is the return of serve. Pretty firmly hit. Brian Lynch, Kim's husband on the right of screen. Coach Carl Mays there. And of course, the physio, an important part of the team to get yeah. her on court and fit. Yeah, she actually thanked him the other day after a match in the interview. And that again, that's what we just talked about, the return of serve. So it looks as though Azarenka's made up her mind of how she wants to go after the second serve if possible. Good depth and placement. Love 30. There are those ankles taped up today. It was the left ankle that Kim turned on against Lena. Said she hadn't bothered getting a scan on it. Already had hip and neck scans while she's been in Australia. Because she was going to play on, no matter what a scan said. Oh, danger territory here for Clasters already. Break points now. Well, it's a great shot from Kleisters. Uh, this leaves Azarenka looking quite flat-footed, trying to take that on the backhand. She was way over the right side of the court here, and Kleisters knew it, and spreads that forehand wide, the off-forehand. Well, another fine return from Azarenko. So, strikes first here in this first semi final. 2 1, she leads. Whoops. Very clean hitting from Azarenka already in this match. Wrong footing, Kleisters. Just as she goes to push off with that left foot slipping. Fifteen. That's the more difficult end to serve from. And, uh, Kleist has lost her serve from up that end now. There's Rinka. Looking to find a comfortable spot for the ball toss. Clysters supporters there. All people very close to her who've helped her in her campaign, her many campaigns, and seeing her come back from the injuries. Big hitting there. She missed that one, but in the last 12 months, Azarenka has really matured a lot. You can just see it about her. She shrugs the negatives off out there. Whereas in Probably two years ago, she really let things get to her a lot more. Fourteen-stroke rally, the one before that, and that was a pretty quick one. 
just two shots and it brings up break points for Kleisters to get back on serve. Well, good serving from Azarenka. Get some good pace on that, forcing the defensive return. She'll need another one here, though. Good serve. That's a couple of big serves right when needed. The last defending champion to lose at this stage of the tournament was Lindsay Davenport, champion in 2000. Semi-finalist in 2001. Oh, good hitting again from Clasters, even though that's deep. It gets some power on the next ball, moving Azarenka around. Just to show you how much she's improved, Azarenka, she's reached the fourth round or better the four of the last five Grand Slams that she's competed in. So she's maturing all the time, getting better. Yeah, I agree. And reaching yes, yes. her first Grand Slam semi-final at Wimbledon last year was a huge breakthrough. And also the WTA Tour Championship final. So a couple of big matches. And you've got to say, a, a change of attitude and mm -hmm. temperament. Last point there with Kleisters, they're the ones that she has to make. She can't afford to have those opportunities and miss that. That was not a difficult shot. And it was a break point. is to keep it to the backhand and when Kleisters gets one she's comfortable with. I think Azarenka's missed most of the forehands she's missed that have been on the stretch. She's yeah. not quite in position. Break point. This is the third one she's had. The fourth one. Let me Very well thought out. Yeah, this is a great shot from Azarenka. She's been hitting with a lot of pace and power, and this time with the ball out in front, decides for the drop shot. Nice slice angle. Really committing to this. Thinking well. Azarenka. Well, this would be a real statement from Azarenka were she to hold here after being down the four break points. Really going after that shot. Great depth. Oh. 
Pulls that forehand wide, close to so a bit of a struggle for Azarenka, but she comes through it and leads 3-1. Uh, the roulettes uh, flying across the sky in Melbourne here to celebrate Australia Day here in this great nation. What a beautiful day. Lots of activities in town and around the Yarra River all over the place today. A oh, great festive atmosphere in this city, all right. Isn't that, look at that, fabulous. <laughs> Almost uh, drowning out Azarenka's shriek, yeah. <laughs> the sounds of the roulettes. Bring them back. <laughs> Well, just the service game that Kleist has needed. It's a quick service game and put the pressure back on to Azarenka. 40 love. Super hitting from Azarenka. 14-15. Really gets over that ball, even though it's deep. And then standing her ground on the baseline to blast that one away. Again, such a strong return from Azarenka. Right back at the feet of Kleisters. And Kleisters holes. It's 3-2 now. Azarenka still with the break. Gee, I, I thought that was good. Well, Kim was right on the line. Yeah, I, thought, I thought it was good too. But, uh, maybe she overcooked it, but no way in. That's a, that was strange because that's how it looked yep. at normal speed too. So not a great challenge from Kim. Doesn't do a lot for your confidence. It was moving pretty quickly, mind you. They're getting closer. They buzz around the crowd here. Thirty love.
Azarenka having to defend them and Kleisters really accelerating into this forehand. Azarenka complained after the point about the noise <laughs> yeah, from and the, the crowd, crowd and they're yeah. laughing because yeah. <laughs> they're just saying, hey, who's talking about noise? Uh, Aussie sense of humour out here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very strange call. But she doesn't let it get to her. Azarenka has been mimicked, laughed at for her shriek, and she has not let any of it get to her throughout the week. One of the night matches, she was the shrieks were quite loud from the crowd. Had a few wines or beers. Ryan likes it. Good controlled aggression from Kleisters, keeping the ball deep. And when she got the shorter one, really finding a lovely angle. That ball moving away from Azarenka, left stranded. Forty thirty. Well, good aggressive tennis from Azarenka, not letting anything bother her, and it's now four games to two. Well, colourful as they are, they are quite distracting for the players. The plane's up there. Azarenka getting distracted by the crowd in that last game, but gee, she's tough. Well, this is a, a great point. Kleister's getting that, this next ball very deep. Azarenka just getting a racket on it. It's a tough one for Kleister's, but she's such a wonderful athlete. Moves up to this one. Does it easily in the end. Gets herself balanced to put it past Azarenka. A strong athlete, Kim. Mum was a gymnast, dad a football player, soccer player. You see her do the splits, you think of the gymnastics. Oh, yes. <laughs> think of pain. Well, it's the game plan for Kleisters. When she has an opportunity, she really has to go after the winner, as she did in that last point. Yeah, they're the uh, errors in running that the, this, they're the simple ones. 
It's not as though she's going for anything with that. She's just trying to keep the ball in play, keep the rally going, and she's missed a couple of those. 30 all. Danger time here. 2-4 down. Let's Let's yes, well done. <laughs> Tough shot to play that one, changing the direction and making it work, finding the line. And this has been a plan of attack for Kleisters, taking Azarenka wide to the forehand to open up the court. Oh. Kleisters no keeps it close. Azarenka, 4 3, first set. There's that pain, the splits. Boy, that's the trademark of Kleisters, though. Well, this is certainly worth a look. Yep, definitely. 4-3, um, 30 love. Incredible hitting in this point. And that one just going it's astray. It's As I think it has two challenges remaining. remaining. Brilliantly played, boy. She worked that point over to absolute perfection. Kept hooking that forehand shorter and shorter. 14, 15. That shot there, Kleister's having to really stretch not only across but forward as well. Had to do the splits twice in that point, Kim. Where is she? There she is. And picks it up just before it hits the deck. Game. Game. Oh, well played game there from Victoria Azarenka as she now extends that lead to five games to three in the first set. Boy, there's some good tennis in that game. Amazing tennis, and this is a sort of game we've seen from Azarenka here in Australia since she's arrived. She really is striking the ball beautifully, but it's the confidence that really impresses. Every time they've played, they've played in the thick of things. It's quarterfinals. Uh, quarterfinals, the last four times they've played. 
This is the semi final. Kleist has been here many times before. Trying to become the eighth player to successfully defend the title. We just hear quite come on from Kleisters. She wins this game, that'll produce exactly what she wants, forcing her opponent to serve for the first set. But she has to win this one first. Well, she had 40 love. And as Karen mentioned, it's tough to pick the right ones to go for. She got a little bit uh, anxious there, over anxious, wanted to go for it and missed. It's 40 30 now. too well on second serves Kleisters. It's the return of Azarenka that's been bothering her. Well, didn't have to bother her there. As I mentioned, 40 love wanting to hold and now it's Deuce. Well, this time it's Azarenka going for a little bit more depth there, overshooting the mark. Yeah, tenth error for the match. Nine winners. Game point, Kleisters. Tried the change up play, Kleisters threw it up in the air. But uh, Azarenka just stepped in, took it on the rise, created an angle. Oh, good serve here from Kleisters. 
And off the shorter ball, that's the right one to go for it on. And she does. Nearly, <laughs> you could see that basically happening. Azarenka moved there and Kleisters hooks it back over the high part and then Azarenka's right there with the racket back ready. Took her time on that one, measured it. And Kim knew she was in all sorts of trouble. Full stretch there, can't quite get for it. Important game this one. From 40 Love, it's been a long battle, but right now it's a set point for Azarenka. Even though she missed the last one, Azarenko, boy, she motored across that baseline pretty well. Over seven minutes here. Brings up juice number four. The second double fault of the match for her. Another set point for Azarenka. Kleister knows the importance of this. If she can yes, hang yes. on here, she led 40 love. If she can hang on here, Azarenka's been known. Everybody's known. Doesn't matter Azarenka or anybody. When you're serving for the set, some things get a little tight. Oh, ho! Hit it straight back to her. Great return here from Azarenka. Kleister's just getting on to it there. Azarenka will be ruining the fact that she sent it back to the Kleister's forehand there. Well, Kleister did the same thing about five points ago when she went to the forehand side and the other court, the court was wide open. Game point now. And Kleister's has battled through. And it is now five games to four when we come back. Azarenka to serve for the first set. Can't do it any better than that. Well, her body language is fantastic. And then she follows up, delivering an ace. That's her only ace so far. What a time to bring it into play.
Oh, these are incredible points. That's the shot that's been good for Kleister, though. If she can get Azarenka really on the run. And just not balanced when she gets to this one. Lifts up a little on it. Lifts the head up and takes the ball deep. And it's the forehand that she's yep. been directing that attack up, trying to open it up. 15 all. I like the way she plays that. Once that ball goes up in the air, it takes a bit off it. Azarenka steps in, doesn't go back and play it. She's in that, remained in that aggressive mode. This one here, steps in, gets it round about chest high, shoulder high, gets the angle, gets the set point now, 40-15. That'll do it. The opening set goes to the number three seed, Victoria Azarenka from Belarus in just 49 minutes, 6-4. This young lady now, after winning the first set, when you're about this age, you sort of gain in confidence. You're playing against a veteran and uh, you know that she has a winning record against you, but you also know the last time you played, you were victorious. And it was a pretty big tournament in Miami, one of the, 15. I like to think in Miami uh, as the fifth Grand Slam, that event. And now, uh, Azarenka won that last year, and now there's one set in the bag here in this first semi final. Oh. Has to stay focused here, Kleisters, and She's had the most experience of the two out there, so she knows what is required. Can't let Azarenka get off to an early break here. Fifteen stroke rally that one. And Kim playing this one very patiently. I think we've seen this before, only the other way around. Azarenka with the shorter ball and Kleisters anticipating it was going to the forehand side. Camping herself over there.
great follow through. So the opening game of the first set goes to Kleisters. One love. That's Azarenka serve points in set one, won and lost. So Doing very well to that ad court with a serve down the middle, but she's mixing it up very nicely, particularly to the ad court. Mainly down yep. the middle on the forehand side. And for Kleisters. She's serving a lot of balls out. A lot to the her. body. Yeah, a lot to the body on the juice court. And not going so well on the ad court. Only winning 47% of the points. And the ones that she's winning on, mainly down to the Azarenka forehand or more into the body. After Azarenka lost fourth round here to Lee Na last year, she was feeling pretty down and contemplating having a bit of a break. And she had a chat to her grandmother, I think is back home in, in Belarus, and um, she had a bit of a heart-to-heart -heart and realised that things weren't so bad being a professional tennis player. Said her mother, her grandmother had worked hard all her life and had 5 a.m. starts, sometimes worked two or three jobs. And she thought, hey, I, what am I complaining about with this life I have? Yeah, and I'm very sure that Victoria Azarenka, the grandchild that she might be, with the $9 million, she might have looked Love after Grandma. Yes, didn't want her to keep working. But uh, I think having a bit of a, a realistic talk with someone that you uh, care about like that can really help, and she says that has helped to change her attitude, made her a lot happier on court, enjoying her tennis and life more. Opportunity now for the defending love champion at Love 40. And this is the shot that Azarenka had been striking so well. So I think a little bit of a lapse from her here after taking the first set. Break of serve to love for Kleisters. And Rod Laver Arena explodes Kleisters. with applause for Aussie Kim. Two love now. There you heard the yeah, spectator. Come on, Aussie Kim. She's there, darling. They want to see her win here. She will get a lot of help from the crowd.
Lucky the roof's not closed. <laughs> they would blow it off, yes. <laughs> A fabulous money. shot here, though, at full stretch on that one. This is a good job to get across to that and judged it to perfection. Azarenka's job, obviously, is to try and keep the crowd out of this as much as she can. She's done it by winning the first set. Kleister's obviously must hold serve here to consolidate that break. And if Azarenka can get back into it, break serve here, that will quieten the crowd somewhat. Good shot of the photographer's pit there. Boy, it gets hot down there. It was about 37 the other day on court. It was 50 degrees Celsius down there. Very warm. Azarenka looking up towards her coach after she misses this forehand. This is a side that she produces more errors from. Backhand far safer. It's about exposing any weaknesses. Both of these women with no real weaknesses in their game. It's about the situation. Well, it's difficult up there with the sun and tremendous defence from Kleisters paying off. 14, 15, 15. Uh, she puts this next one, a very high lob up. The sun's up there. And Azarenka with a lot of time to think about it. It's time to swing. Unbelievable effort from Kleisters. Though. She was out of that point on two occasions and finishes up winning it. We said there was a question mark over her mobility with the injuries, but she is moving superbly. Once more, as Kleisters, after 14 minutes, leads three love in this second set. Sam Sumik 
Who's Victoria's coach? Would you say that was coaching? coaching? Yeah. Slice. Let me see how we go with the slice. Coach is not meant to coach from court side. And if the umpire sees it, they can get a code violation, a warning first. Birds darting all around the court at the moment. Looking sure for lunch. Yeah, well, there have been a lot of bugs around, but lots of swallows. What it is, it, is it about swallows and summer? <laughs> Diving down, getting the bugs. slice that the coach was talking about. What are you not talking about? Signalling about? Yeah, he's just suggesting, and she's taken him up on this, that she try and gives, tries to give Kim a different ball to hit. They've been getting into pretty big rallies in the back of the court. Lots of topspin and flat shots. Not too much slice. So we might see her vary it. Trying to G herself up. And that's a good response from Azarenka coming up with an excellent serve there after the double fault that would have been very disappointing. Again, it's that positive self-talk that you can see from her. Azarenka had her first top 100 season in 2006 and then crept up the ladder. 2007, she finished in the top 30. And 2008, in the top 20. So, a young woman on the move. Juice. Kleisters. Point for four love now for Kleisters. Azarenka certainly knows the importance of this game. If she loses it, she's down two service breaks, and that would spell 
probable disaster in this second set, two service breaks. But if she's only down one service break, if she can hold here, it's just the one break. Lines person correcting themselves. Very quick correction. So a good correction. First serve again. Yes. Well, she definitely has not been serving as well nope. to that left court, to the back backhand court. Three double faults now for the match. Trying to get out to the Kleister's backhand on that other side and just hasn't been able to get it. The toss right. A little dance from her there. She likes to dance before the matches. We saw her come out with a jacket and the earphones in, and sometimes during the match you'll see her do a little jig as well, just to keep herself loose, relaxed on the big points. Sam Sumik has been coaching as a ranker for nearly two, something like two years now. Early 2010, they started out. He's overseen her rise up the rankings. the slice that she was asked to play and then again Kleisters goes for that forehand stretches Azarenka out wide to the forehand and that's where she's made the errors on the forehand wing on the full stretch there's the slice and here's the forehand on the run and time and time again we've seen that when she's set on the forehand Azarenka good but Kleisters doing a good job of keeping her off balance Break point. Game. Game. Crowd getting behind Kleisters right now. Streaks ahead. Four love, Five second days. set. Well, it's going to be a tough road back in this set for Azarenka now. Felt if she got that game, she would have got some momentum back. Kleister's in the box seat. Take, Take it quickly. quickly. Thank, Thank you. you. A few signs of frustration. Understand why when you look at the scoreboard. 15, 15. Yeah. Do you think Victoria took a foot off the pedal in at the start of this second set? She's committed 13 unforced errors. Make that 14, and there are only 10 all up in the first set. Right. 
Fabian Kleisters from 18 to mm. 4. Very clean. Well, what a string of five games this has been for the defending champion. She now leads five games to love, second set. Fifteen. Well, the shriek is back, and a positive point. The young woman from Belarus, a bit worried when she didn't do more with that first one, but able to put the second go away at net. Well, Kim really hitting with beautiful rhythm. Good footwork getting around on that one, and it's terrific depth, drawing a slightly shorter ball. She's able to step in and devour. That certainly had some slice on it. Interesting choice of shot, that one. But it worked. I don't think that's what the coach meant. She's confident at the moment, Kleisters. And has cut way down on those unforced errors in this set. Only four. She made 18 in the opening set. Kleisters really dominating these points one from the baseline. 30 all. Well, the strength of Kleister's evident in these points. Using the shoulders, really hitting through those beautifully. 
really making an error. First serve not working at all for Azarenka in this set. Mind you, she's come up with some pretty handy second deliveries. That one she sent down at 155 k's. And a nice little drop shot. Chance for her to get on the board here. And Azarenka puts a number on the board in this second set. It's now five games to one. Kleisters now will serve to even this matchup. Kleister's nerves fair here. It's new balls. Close is just not looking like she can miss. Very solid of both sides. Fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, so as Renka, important that she held serve that last service game. Got herself on the board at five one, and it appears that uh, she will now have the first serve in the third and decisive set in this match. There it is. And so Kleister's jogs to the sideline and it's taken 36 minutes for her to win that second set 6-1. Kleister's knows how important it is to get on top early here to con continue with the momentum that she grabbed hold of in that second set. There are the birds diving down again over the court. Now, it will be interesting to see if Azarenka can really forget about that second set, start afresh here. I think she can. Oh, that's a brilliant backhand from Azarenka. And that's a shot that we saw her use throughout the first set, really able to get some pace off it. Stretch Kleisters, got quite a few winners with that weapon. 
but it disappeared in the second set. And again to that left court, the serve of Azarenka causing her problems. Continues to work the forehand over a little bit. That one was just more of a, a rally forehand rather than pushing a wide. But Kleisters continues that run. It's a break point now. Some wonderful tennis here, early stages of this final set. Advantage. Early in that point, I think Azarenka thought a shot of hers had drifted wide, but uh, she lived on in the point. Survives a break point. That's a big moment for her because it stops the rot. 6 1. Kleister's won that second set and then had a break point opportunity. There's the graphic, the rally hit point comparison with Kleister's. Azarenka stepping up into the court a little bit more than Kleister's. Well, both of them looking to do that, but Azarenka, particularly in that first set, able to get inside the court a bit more. I think Kleister's in the second, you'd find, would have been well inside the court more often or around that baseline mm -hmm. area, but she was really finding some lovely rhythm on her shots, no matter where she was in the court, but not looking to give ground. Such an important hold of serve, that first one yep, for Vicar. definitely. Break point, survive that now. Pressure goes to Kleister's. When you see those rally hit points, so it just shows you how well both women are hitting, mm. what depth they're hitting with, pushing each other back. And case in point right there. A good first serve, and the returner serve was hit with pace and depth. And now an opportunity for Azarenka. I'd love 30. Good percentage play there from Azarenka at love 30. She gets a good look at a serve. Goes for it. And the look on her face after this really got Kleisters on the stretch there with a terrific return and holds that until Q 
Kim commits. Love 40. That's yep. all it took. Another first serve, and that one hit with precision and power right into the corner. And now it is Azarenka who is broken and leads to love. Final set. Oh, she's regained some of that intensity that just went out of her game at the start of the second set and allowed Kleisters to take control. Well, she let the second set sort of go after about four love, didn't she, and just concentrated. She got the first serve and survived a break point on that opening service game of the third set. And that was a big moment. Kleister's now, just for her own confidence, going to try and break back immediately here. Love 15. Said nerves start to creep in as you get through, looking to get into the first Grand Slam final. She's closing in on it, but that's five double faults. Love 30 now. Been serving much better to this side of the court. That's out. Crowd come to life again love. for Aussie Kim. The love 40. She was robbed the net. Quite an incredible point and applause, appreciative applause for both players. Oh, super point. And Kleister's trying to ride that one over, seeing it jump out. 15-40. It's a must-win game, this one, for Kleisters. The opening game of this third set, she let a break point slip. And if she misses this one, and she lets three go in this game, that plays on your mind. Double fault. A nervous move there from Azarenka. So she allows Kleisters back into this third set. 2 1 Azarenka on serve. You said it would be a battle of nerves, Fred, and that is showing. Are you 
shaky double faults. Yeah, that's a three double, third double fault in the match. Kleist is doing a good job of picking when to pick up the pace in the point, just accelerating that ball, getting it very deep on it as a rank up. that she hit just she didn't go for it was down the middle of the court and that uh, little bit of nerves and then the attempted drop shot to try and finish the point off did not miss by much right on top of the tape 15 30. Good. Good returning again of that second serve, and that's where she's decided. The mental application on a second serve is to go for it, and that's the tactic, and it's paying dividends. Two break points again on the Kleister serve. She missed that, but as a ring cup, doing well when she's getting that return back also straight at the feet of Kleister. She does play up the middle of the court on the first shot a lot. Needed the first serve. And got it. The battle continues. point that sends a message and Kleist has looked her right in the eye after that. Azarenka had a good stare and Kleist is with a clenched fist looked her right in the eye. A oh, superb volley to finish that 21 shot rally and Kleist is winning 70% of the rallies when they go over 10 shots. She is toughing it out. And you're right, Fred, sending a message. That's the longest rally, 21 strokes in that rally. You've got to love the fight of Azarenka, the clinched fist so much determination. Azarenka not only playing Kleisters, but playing 
majority of the crowd here. And there was that return straight up deep down the middle of the court. Very effective. Class just has to move her body out of the way of the shot. Oh, a double fault again. Both women are getting nervous on the serves. They're presenting double faults at uh, very critical times here. And that one gives the break to Azarenka. So she goes ahead now three games to one in the final set. Amazing quality of tennis we're seeing out here. Huge hitting, great defense, great attack. Tempting to try to reach her first Grand Slam final, Azarenka. earlier Azarenka the only one of the four semi-finalists in this is Australian Open the only one of the four that has not won a Grand Slam Four hands in this game. Oh, I'm starting to miss a few now, Kleisters, the pressure of the moment. She had been so solid throughout the second set. Now it's Azarenka who's getting a few cheaper points out here. Forced errors creeping in there now. So Azarenka goes to a four games to one lead, and it's one set apiece. She's a fighter. Both these young women will leave it all out there. the aggression she needs. If you look at Azarenka's last year of Grand Slam performances, fourth round here, lost to Lina, who was the runner-up. Roland Garris lost to Lina, the winner in the quarter-final. Vitiver at Wimbledon, the winner. And Williams, the runner-up at the US Open. So she's been very close all through. 
this may be her breakout year. 30 love. Everyone would have caught the line. Azarenka has a good look at it. 40 love. 14, Just what's needed, an easy game, if possible. It's the last serve, and it was right on the paint, so it's skidded through. wide so we're moving in towards the final stages here maybe at 4-2 now Kleister's whole serve and quickly the pressure goes back to the young Belarusian very positive body language coming from her Christ is the defending champion here. So is defending 2,000 points. 2,000. Uh, she's got a total of 3,041 points. So she's ranked a 14 on the tour, and she'll lose. If she loses this match. She'll lose a bunch of those points. So the ranking will slip somewhat. Her ranking's but, down that low because she wasn't able to play for most of yeah. the from about May last year. Couple of matches. So that's what we've said earlier. Kvitova, Azarenka, and Sharapova all have a chance, depending on who comes out as the title holder, to get that number one ranking. 40 love for a 5 2 lead. Azarenka said she can't help. But think about it, it's in the back of her mind. Doesn't want to talk about it though. A good pressing play from Kleisters. A lot of emotions, I'm sure, going on in oh, yeah. Kim's head there because, you know, this is her last Australian Open. I said this will be her last year before really retiring. Done it once before. Came back after the birth of her daughter, Jada, who's now three, turning four soon. Hitting a little more freely now. Yes, nice rhythm from Kleisters here. Great placement. Maybe those emotions that we were talking about just 
helping her here as long as the crowd is cheering for her any moment they get trying to encourage Aussie Kim Coach happy with that one. Here's an Ale Ale, and that comes from living in Monte Carlo now, as opposed to Scottsdale, Arizona. That's where she does all the work now in Monaco. Game point for 5 2. <laughs> Travelling dangerously. Azarenka anticipated this move. Just missed it down the line, so. Juice. Bit of a reprieve for Kim there. Well, Kleist is not able to get the ball deep enough on the Azarenka forehand. Play of trying to open up the forehand and get Azarenka off balance on that side the has intensity. worked at times. Intensity and despair at the other end. Intensity one end and it's game point again. Oh, she's pushed it wide. She can't believe it. A good play here from Azarenka. Dropping that one short. Kleisters gets up there. And with Azarenka covering that side, she just pushed it too wide, trying to get it passed up. Tense times out here. He was there in plenty of time as well. Game point. Oh, what tennis. We need some oxygen for the husband up there, <laughs> Brian Lynch. He's incredible effort here. Yes. Unreal rally from both women. Oh, this is just a fabulous running forehand from Kleisters under a lot of pressure out here. Juice once more. For the fourth time.
It's in. They will replay the point. Bit of bad luck there for Azarenka. Everyone's on the edge of their seats, coach and husband. And Azarenka did not shape up to this confidently. Break point. Kleisters. And she's done it. This brings the crowd to their feet, folks. We're back on serve. 4-3 Azarenka, final set. composed Azarenka at this stage. Gee, Kleistas has been forced to defend so much. This time couldn't get a lot on it. It's defended well throughout. Pretty impressive 21-year-old accepting the fact that uh, most of the folks are against it and she's taking it all in. She is it's 22 years of age. It doesn't make much difference. She's still doing a super job out here, Azarenka. And that nervous double fault. Again, Kleister's the last couple of service games has not been confident. Has not served well in this set. That's one point. She's only winning 42% in this set on first serves and 40% on second serves. So that's been a downfall so far, but this forehand she puts away, it's 15-40. Riding every shot with Kleisters out here. Brilliant point here. This time it was Azarenka having to do some retrieving. And she Kleisters did. Kleisters on the attack and very competent at the net again. Competent and confident when she gets in there. Still facing a break point.
Oh, good volley, good solid volley from Azarenka. So, the young lady from Belarus is now one game away from her first Grand Slam singles final. She will now serve for the match. Her first serve's been going fairly well in this set. 76% in, winning more than half of them. A lot better than Kleister's in this particular set. New balls, that should help. They go through the air a little quicker. Good first serve, first point. He looks pretty relaxed at the moment. Now? Now that he's charge is serving for the match. Anxious on that one, wanted to get there. Good retrieving skills from Azarenka. And now with all these folks cheering for Kleisters, Azarenka has three match points. Oh, that's the situation telling, thinking about it. We'll see her dance to try and relax out there. Never been to a Grand Slam final. This is new territory if she were to win a point here. is over and what tears of joy and relief I would think for Victoria Azarenka the 22 year old from Belarus as she takes out the defending champion Kim Kleisters in two hours and 12 minutes of a fantastic first women's semi-final here today 6-4 1-6 6-3